Hello everybody, John here from Incomesh.com. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video tutorial, we're going to continue on with my little passion project here of integrating Groundhog in with my new agency website. And specifically today, we are going to bring in WooCommerce integration into Groundhog. So this is going to be kind of a first look at this integration. I'll show you some of the features, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and how to set it all up in this video. So let's go ahead and dive right in. We're working here on convertdash.com. We're getting this uh, little project up and running step by step, day by day. And what I want to do here is to introduce the ability for me to sell products or services and kick off integrations and manage and sync up my store with my email marketing platform, which has a number of benefits that I don't need to go into in this video. Uh, there's too many to list, honestly. Uh, but to do that very easily and very portably, uh, where I can use this and move it around. And if I want to replicate this process for a client, it's very easy to do. I can bring in the WooCommerce integration for Groundhog. Now, if you haven't seen anything about Groundhog before, go ahead and check out some of my previous videos. I'll link in the description below. But essentially, this is bringing the power of email marketing right inside of your WordPress dashboard. And it's doing it for a very affordable uh, free <laughs> price with just some additional premium extensions and uh, email sending services as well. So what we've already done here before this video is I've downloaded this extension. So what I want to do is let's go ahead and head into my dashboard here with my convert dash website. And we'll go ahead and install this, uh, install this extension and give you a, br a browse a tour through it together. Okay, so we are logged in, I'm going to come back into the uh, dashboard of my WordPress admin area. And this is just one more plugin that's going to work together with Groundhog that's already installed here. I've done several tutorials setting this up to this point. So we're going to dive in and waste no time with getting some of this stuff set up. I'll come here to my plugins folder and I should have found my Groundhog WooCommerce extension. And I'll install this. And if you're on the fence, I would say go ahead and give uh, Groundhog a shot. It's got a 30 day money back guarantee on their extensions. And the pricing on this guys is like, you can afford this, right? So if we go to our purchase options and you can see all the different things that you could get one-on-one -on -one, kind of tacking them on for 40 bucks here, 70 bucks here. But what I'd recommend and what I did was I went for the uh, freelance. I like to do a lot of different tutorials. I want to have the ability to do uh, multiple installations. So for 10 different installations and some email credits and all this good stuff, 400 bucks a year for all the extensions, uh, that's, dirt cheap. I'll just be honest with you to be able to send emails. You figure the, the, in the, the going rate of just getting signed up with a drip and active campaign is pushing 50, $60 a month. Uh, this is a no brainer for unlimited, uh, functionality. So here we are. So we've installed this plugin. If I come here to groundhog and I just take a look at my settings here, you probably shouldn't see a whole lot different because we've, we've just installed the WooCommerce extension really where you're going to find the benefit of this particular, pr uh, product, this extension here is going to be inside of your funnels. So when I come here to my funnels, let's create a new funnel that's going to initiate when somebody purchases a product. So uh, before I do that, let me make sure I have a product to sell. So let me come here to first WooCommerce and products. I'll say add new. And let's say I want to offer a thousand dollar uh, business intensive deep dive where I can work with clients to uh, really unlock what we need to do to build their business for, uh, further. So we'll call this a business intensive. And I won't go through the process of actually building all this out. Uh, let's just make this right now a 997 product. And if we look here under our options, we really don't have uh, anything different than what we're used to seeing with a WooCommerce product. We can just kind of browse around. This all looks very normal. Uh, I can link this up with a booking calendar. Which, well, let's do a couple cool things here. So this is going to just be a, a virtual product. This is going to be a service that I provide to people and it's going to be linked in with a scheduling an appointment with me to do this activity. So we're going to publish this product. Really no work has been done to make it look pretty, which is fine because we'll be selling this through WooCommerce. But here you can see we have a $997 product here. Good to go. Uh, that should allow us now to provide the follow-up and the necessary kind of functionality uh, within Groundhog for people who purchase that product. So we'll come here to our funnels and we'll say add new. And now let me see here. Um, we don't have any additional funnels that were created here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new funnel. We can kind of do this from scratch together here. Uh, but what we could also do is an abandoned cart. This, this might make sense to do separately, where if somebody abandons the cart, we can do some follow-up with them there. Uh, but in this particular one, let's just do a very simple, they purchase, and we're going to send an email to schedule a uh, a meeting 
with us. So we'll go here to add a new funnel and we'll just say start from scratch. Where are we? Here we are. Okay. So by default, it's going to bring in this form filled and then send an email. So that's how they anticipate you entering into the funnel. But what you can see here now is you actually have multiple new ways of entering into the, the, the funnel. So what we want to do is when somebody, when somebody purchases a particular product, in this case, the product we just created, I want to initiate this funnel. And let's call this here business intensive follow-up. Let's just build out a funnel together. So when they purchase any product, so this would be like a generic, thank you for making a purchase funnel, a product with a specific tag, a product in a certain category, or any of the following products. And this is what we want because we actually pick out a single product from our catalog. So here we'll let this kind of populate. So here under products, we should be able to find the business intensive pops up. So when this product is purchased, we're going to go down this funnels path. Okay. So we don't really need to have this form filled item. We're going to remove that. I'm also going to do some, um, a better naming nomenclature here. So purchase business intensive. And the reason for that is when you want to really see what people are doing and where they're at in your funnel, uh, they're going to see these event names in their, uh, their list. So we'll show you that at the end of this video when we run through a test. So when they purchase this product, I want to send them an email saying thank you as well as click here to schedule your, uh, your meeting. So we'll go ahead and uh, update this to say thank you email plus schedule link. And that will be what we put in this email. But I want to make sure that I have the page ready to go to actually schedule the event. Uh, I am using the Groundhog appointment booking tool as well on this website, which I've done in a previous video. You can see in the link below. I'm not going to go and redo what we've already done for that particular part of the pie. Uh, but we have a calendar here that I've put into a particular page. And this page is within a sales funnel. That we built in the previous video. So we'll have this scheduled discovery call. We'll go ahead and take the link for that step in the process. And then we come back into my email here and let's edit this email where we can say, okay, it says build your dreams with groundhog. We'll say, thank you. Okay. So it gives you, this is the blank template, right? So it has absolutely kind of silly gibberish uh, in this email. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and put out some quick text here for this email. Okay. So I put in a little bit of text here. I want to make the, um, the schedule button very visible so i'll make this a button it says i am a button very helpful we'll link it to the schedule page we've already created and we'll uh, change the name here to schedule now the color's fine let me take this text here i do like the fact that they sign off with their business name short code so let's add one more text block beneath the button mm, looks, looks like our formatting is a little bit different here so let me just duplicate this to keep my formatting the same. Pull this below my button, that, and we'll have a little sign off here. Okay, definitely we'll need to do some work on this uh, later on, but this will work for now. I'll go ahead and ready this email. I'm not readying the entire funnel yet. I'm just readying this one email in the entire flow. Okay, and now what you'd want to do is create the process where if they don't actually schedule within the next 24 hours or so, you give them a reminder email and you give them another reminder email. Let me show you how you'd build that process out uh, using Groundhog's email funnel builder. So this is the first touch. What I wanna do is add a wait in here now. So I wanna come here for the delay timer and add a delay timer below this and let's wait for one day. And we'll run it immediately after that one day is over. And we can essentially uh, copy and paste this uh, email and remind them again and we'll change the verbiage a little bit. And what we want to do is create a benchmark trigger that's going to basically pull them forward when let's say it takes them two or three days to finally schedule your call. Uh, you're going to want to create a trigger that says, okay, when they finally do schedule the call, go ahead and move on down here. So how do we make sure that we do that properly? So normally how you would have to handle this in other CRMs is you'd have to kind of work with tags and make sure that things are working properly and that you know, it, it normally is a little bit of a mess, but here you have this huge benefit in using Groundhog where we can actually say, okay, what is the purpose of this particular step in my funnel? I wanna get them to book a call. So what I'm gonna do is actually have the appointment because it's all done in Groundhog. I'm gonna pull the appointment booking down here and I've already created the, the calendar. Um, 
you know, let's, let's make a specific calendar here because discovery, discovery calls and business intensives are very different things. Uh, but you'll, you'll get the idea. Let's quickly pop over here to our calendars. Let me just save this. We'll come to our calendar and let's create a business intensive calendar. And the owner here is just going to be info at convert dash. I'll allow all the working days. I want to make sure this length of appointment is a two hour appointment and everything else is okay for now. Okay. We'll add this to the calendar or add this calendar to my, my setup here. So what I want to do next is now that I have the calendar created, I really want to go in and make this look as realistic as possible and kind of show how that funnel actually works in providing services for people where I might offer a free 30 minute discovery call. But if you really want to dive in, you're going to want to go into that business intensive to spend real time to figure out what needs to move in a particular business to increase their conversions and their sales. So here we have the funnel we've built out in the previous video, again, linked in the description below where we built out a discovery call and a thank you call and, and the actual process of creating that booking, we can keep this funnel going because ideally most people are going to start out with a discovery call and then eventually you're going to sell them on going into a deeper dive with you. And that's exactly how this works, where they sign up, they schedule their call and they get thank you for the, the initial call. But let's say after that initial call, you end up selling them on going deeper and getting more and getting more value from you and with you. It's very easy in cart flows because this is all part of one entire customer journey. I'm going to keep this in the same flow. There's no problem with doing that. So I've cloned my schedule call and let's quickly edit this schedule call to now be scheduling a two hour, a much bigger deal, um, uh, a, a bigger uh, sale. So here we have our, our permalink. We're going to change this to intensive schedule. Schedule your business intensive. Okay, so I've updated this real fast. Let's come into edit with Elementor. And now this is the calendar from the previous, uh, from the discovery call. And all we're going to do is swap out the short codes. We're going to come back here to see our new business intensive booking here. Take that guy, plop him right into Elementor. And we'll hit update. And let's just change this text to be relevant. And so we'll just change our header, update this, and let's just view this real fast. Okay, so now we have a good looking calendar, booking calendar. You know, I, I probably want to squeeze this in a little bit. That's a little bit of a wide look here. Uh, you can see it is mobile responsive as I make this smaller. Honestly, that, that looks a lot better to me than what we have. And what you also see here is our time slots have now increased to 8 to 10. Uh, so it's a two hour uh, window here. Okay, so that is looking good so far. What we want to do next is let's come back to our flow. We always want to have a thank you confirmation page when you're doing bookings. Uh, it just helps people know they did the right thing and that everything's all well and good. So we're going to come back to the flow and add one more step. And I'm just going to clone this page here because it already looks mostly like what I want it to be. And we'll call this one, let's edit it, and we'll call this thank you for scheduling the business intensive. Okay. So now this is all um, updated here with the permalinks. Let's quick, let's make some small tweaks to the visuals just to make sure people know where they're at in the journey. And then we'll tie it all back together with the email sequence we just created and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Okay. So a very basic page is thank you. You're all scheduled. Here's what you need to remember before our call begins. We'll update this. And now let's do a little bit of cleanup where we need to make sure that when the, they make the purchase, is going to go ahead and give them access to the correct pages and, and all of that good stuff. So let's go and check our flow and put our funnel here on the other side. And we'll just link this all up very easily. Okay. So when they make the purchase, we want to have them schedule their business intensive. So I'll take this link and let's do a couple of things. We'll get back into our flow here, our funnel. I don't know what each tool has their own uh, terminology, it seems. Okay. So in this email, I want to just double check the page I'm sending them to. So the schedule page, we are going to send them to uh, the schedule, the intensive. We'll update this. We'll close that email out. Let's clone this again. And we'll drag this down below the one day uh, timer. We'll just say, wait one day. And let's edit this just to show you kind of what the process would be to make sure you get that high closure rate and the high you know booking rate uh, for your calls. So we'll just say, 
All right, so I just made some small little tweaks here. I noticed you haven't booked yet, so go ahead and click the link below and we'll get started right away. And we'll hit update as well. And close. Okay, and then you can keep this process going on for a little while, but you'll get the idea at this point. So what's going to happen eventually is they're eventually going to book an appointment. So we'll call this book to our discovery or to our intensive. And we'll link this to our calendar we just created. And what do you want? Like, when do you want this trigger to happen? Whenever the client creates their appointment. Perfect. You could also do it when you approve it as the admin, but I think creating this makes sense in most cases. So uh, let's see here. So what we can do now, whenever they book it, let's go ahead and send them one more reminder email saying, hey, this is what's going on. These are the things you need to remember. I'll remind you before your call starts and we'll be able to rock and roll. All right, so as soon as they sign up, we're going to go ahead and say, you are all booked. And let's just put some content into this email. Okay, so I've added some content in here. Obviously, I'll, I'll go through and clean all this up in time. But we have a funnel built out. So now the way things look is when this product is purchased, we're going to send them a thank you link uh, and a scheduling link to actually set it up. If they don't schedule it in, within a day, we're going to remind them again to do the exact same thing. And assuming, and you can keep this process going on, eventually they will book their call and then we'll move them down to the next step of the funnel. And this can keep going on. What I love about how Groundhog is set up is with this funnel structure, although it's, it's very simplistic, like you're just going down the line, um, using these tag, these benchmarks strategically, you can create an entire customer journey in a single funnel. And what's cool about it is you'll also be able to get visibility in how everything is going throughout your process. You know, combining this, you'll be able to also see the page views and the conversion rates on your pages, as well as within your emails and all of this good stuff here. You have this good feeling of the analytics of how your business is performing right off the bat uh, with these two tools alone. All right, so that is a quick look at the tutorial behind the WooCommerce extension for Groundhog. What I love about it is it's all tied in nice and neat into your WordPress dashboard. Everything is intuitive, right? Like if you just think about it where you're going to do your automations inside the funnels of Groundhog and WooCommerce is going to handle the actual delivery and the pricing and all that good stuff on that side, you have this logical way of building out a business that, that just kind of makes sense. What I'm not so keen on so far is what you lose the ability to have automations that kick off when people do refunds. Uh, that seems like it's a pretty easy slam dunk for them to be able to go and do. I know WP Fusion has the ability for you to add specific tags when somebody refunds a product or when you refund a product for somebody. And so I know the technology is there to be able to kick off uh, automations or add tags, all that good stuff. But being able to eliminate that tool and simplify your stack is always something that people should be looking to do. Uh, so I love that functionality. Something else that we'll dive into in a future tutorial is the abandoned cart functionality. Here's where I'm a little bit on, I'm still evaluating, I'll be honest with you guys, because there is overlap in tools that provide the ability for you to follow up on abandoned carts. There is um, Groundhog gives you the ability to create automatic unique discount codes for people when they add things to their cart for them to come back in and incentivize them to complete their purchase. Cartflow has something similar. WP Fusion has something similar. Everybody has something similar for that. So um, you need to have an abandoned cart functionality within your website, which is the right way to implement. I'm still assessing for you, and I'm sure I'll be keeping up to date on that as my opinions, uh, you know, formulate and I can give you a honest recommendation. So that is a quick look and not too quick, I guess, at creating a funnel where you're following up, you're kind of creating that experience, that customer journey from scratch using Groundhog and WooCommerce, which then allows you to bring in all the other tools you'd really want to use to create that experience. I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. If you would like to learn more about all this, I'm creating a, a free course that's going to help you go from zero to hero using Groundhog and all these great tools inside of my Income Mesh University. So head over to IncomeMesh.com, create your free account, and you'll be able to have first access to those courses when they come out. If you like what I'm doing here, go ahead and subscribe and like the video and share with your friends. Embl embed it in blog posts, do all the good stuff to get that reach out there. I really want to help the right tools bubble up to the surface and help you find them and master them. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care.